Top story, millions of obese Americans are now considered as having a medical disease requiring treatment. CBS 19's Jennifer Heathcock joins us now. And Jennifer, what does this decision by the AMA mean? Well, the vote was cast yesterday, and it shows what doctors have said for years, that it is an epidemic. Now, it defines 78 million Americans, adults, and 12 million kids as being obese. Some people say the decision is right. Fighting obesity is not right. Fighting obesity is a personal issue. <laughs> Bethany Simpson brought her son Luke to the park. She's trying to keep him active this summer. So many kids are just involved in video games and iPhones and just all these electronics. And I think it's important to go outside and play and be active and healthy. And Simpson's family lives on a farm. She says they eat fresh produce every day and the whole family is active. I do. I run every night about two or three miles every night. Simpson says she doesn't really like the decision the American Medical Association made to define obesity as a disease. But she doesn't want to see her son become a number in those statistics. When you see children that are obese already, you know, that's something that we feel that we could all control and potentially control earlier. Just teaching your children good eating habits. Dr. Neelan Dulab is a cardiovascular surgeon at the Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital. He says the move to make obesity a disease could help doctors in the long run. If you can treat the primary cause, which is the obesity, you can potentially fend off diabetes, high cholesterol, some of these other associated diseases that lead to further problems. Problems that he treats. Dr. Dulab also thinks this could lead to health care covering the cost of education and treating people suffering from obesity. For a large part, um, you know, I see obesity as being a problem that has a solution. But Simpson says the burden shouldn't fall on health care, but on each person individually. I think people should just get out there and be active and just watch what they're eating and eat healthy. Many fear the decision made Tuesday will put pressure on health insurance companies to reimburse doctors for time spent discussing obesity, its risk, and what to do with patients. Jillian? It's definitely caused a lot of conversation today. Okay, let me ask you, with this push to have it possibly covered by medical insurance, any idea if that could drive up costs now, though, for other people? Well, from what we know as of now, Jillian, yeah. the most insurance policies exclude treatment for obesity itself, but treatment for obesity-related related illnesses costs more than $150 billion a year. A Duke University study showed that num that number could jump to $550 billion higher in the next 20 years if, if obesity numbers continue to rise. Back to you. A very costly mm -hmm. problem. All right, thank you, Jennifer. And some doctors say that the term disease could create more problems for those who already face the challenge of losing weight. And others say this could lead to much needed changes in phys physical education initiatives and also reforms on school lunches across the country.